PE is the process by which we apply external stimuli to the penis to cause an adaptation response to grow in either girth, length, or both. This is referred to as mechanical PE as opposed to surgical PE or chemical PE. One of the main comments, questions, and concerns that people have about mechanical PE is, is it permanent? Mechanical PE is a process by which many users have added one inch, two inches, three inches, or even more to their penis permanently. Many users will note that as you progress, when you cease PE altogether, there will be a small decrease in overall size due to the lack of training stimuli. This is why most users and educators like myself will advocate for something that we call overshooting. That is to try to add an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch more than your actual goal to account for the shrinkage that could potentially happen and more than likely will happen once you cease PE. Don't worry though, there are several users who have completely stopped PE for years and years and years without seeing any loss or very minimal loss to their overall size. As I mentioned earlier in the video, mechanical PE can be used to increase both length and girth. And now we're going to talk about some of the methodologies that you would use to perform either length work, girth work, or both. Methods of penis enlargement. One of the earliest known methods of penis enlargement is what we now refer to as manuals. Manuals involve using the hand to apply traction to the penis in an effort to grow are not to be confused with the oft-cited and popular jelking, which is frowned upon in most serious penis enlargement communities because of its high risk and potential for injury. The second method that we'll talk about, other than manuals, is devices. Devices can be broken down into four categories, and that is pumps, clamps, hanging, and extending. Pumping. Pumping is one of the oldest device-based methods of PE dating back over 100 years ago, originally developed for the correction of erectile dysfunction, has now proven itself to be a very effective method for adding both length and girth. Clamping. Clamping is often separated into two different categories, that is hard clamping and soft clamping. Hard clamping is an attempt to increase the girth of the penis by forcing blood into the corpus cavernosum and expanding the penis circumferentially. Soft clamping is a method of hypoxia or blood flow restriction by which we use devices similar to cock rings, but a little bit tighter. The main role of soft clamping is to increase the penis's amount of blood holding tissue, thereby increasing our erection quality and overall size of our erect penis. Hanging. Hanging can be separated into two different attachment methods, both ultimately serving the same goal. There are vacuum cup hangers and compression hangers. A vacuum cup hanger seeks to use a vacuum bell that is shaped in the shape of the glands and uses vacuum and a silicone sleeve to achieve a purchase on the penis, thereby allowing you to hang a weight from the end. Compression hanging. Compression devices often look like clamshell type devices that you use on the actual shaft 
of the penis and serve the same purpose as the vacuum device, allowing you to hang weights off of the penis to increase the overall length. Whether using a vacuum bell or a compression hanger, hanging relies on gravity. Using weights attached to the end of one of these devices, a compression hanger or a vacuum bell, to cause elongation in the penis over time. Extending. Extending must be broken down into two separate categories, not to be confused with each other. High tension extending is extending that uses higher tensions, much like hanging, whereas low tension extending uses very little tension and requires hours of use in the device. A high tension extender is typically worn for about 60 to 90 minutes the same length of time that you would typically see a user use a hanging device. Low tension devices can be worn as much as four, six, eight, ten, or more hours at a very low tension. Both high tension and low tension extending can take advantage of the aforementioned attachment options. That is to say, you can use a vacuum cup or a compression hanger to do either high tension or low tension extending. Question number one, how much can I gain? PE is a lot like going to the gym. Asking how much you can gain from PE is a little bit like asking how high you can get your bench press. The more consistent you are and the harder you work at it, the more your gains will be. There are reports within our community of multiple people gaining their first inch, two inches, even three inches, and a few members who have documented progress of four inches. Let me ask question number two and a very frequently asked question at that. How long will it take me to gain one inch? Using our previous analogy of going to the gym, it's highly dependent on how much time and effort and consistency you yourself are willing to put into it. There are reports of some people gaining an inch as, as little as three to four months, six months, or as much as a year. I tend to believe that a realistic time period for expecting your first inch is anywhere from six months to one year, based on anecdotal data that we've seen from tens of thousands of users over the couple of subreddits that we focus in. Thank you guys for joining me today here at Massive Novelties headquarters. I hope you found this information educational and beneficial. Know that I will be covering each of the topics that we spoke on today in greater depth in their own vid videos and in their own articles. If you like this video and found it helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and even sharing. As for all of your PE needs, please visit www.massivenovelties.com.